Hello and welcome. My name is Stephanie Crowley. I am the editorial director of Top Crop Manager Magazine. And joining me today for this From the Field interview is Amy Yoder, the president and CEO of Anuvia Nutrients. Amy, thank you for chatting with me today. I would love it if you could start by just introducing yourself and sharing a little bit about you with our audience. Sure. Well, thank you, Stephanie. I really appreciate the invitation. So uh, a little bit of background on myself. I um, actually grew up on a farm in Michigan, actually sixth generation uh, farm. My dad and brother are still actively farming today. I've been in the industry over 25 years, and that's probably all I'm going to say on that aspect. Uh, joined Anuvia in 2015 and uh, joined Anuvia after, um, quite frankly, a pretty long uh, career in um, the ag industry doing a variety of crop inputs from seed to crop protection um, in all aspects of uh, with a variety of different companies, but really joined Anuvia because I was really interested in the technology and I thought it was one of the few technologies that I had really seen that I thought could work in broad, broad scale agriculture. So hence why I joined. Awesome. So let's dive into that technology a little bit. Tell us about Anuvia's technology and why it's so unique. Well, I think it's really unique and, it, and the unique in this is really in because it's bio-based. And basically what that means is that every granule has a, has a component of organic material uh, attached to that. And what does that, what does that mean or why is it important? Well, to me, it's really important for two reasons. One is this organic material really helps those nutrients stay in that plant available form. So from a plant perspective, they get more efficiency um, in being able to utilize these nutrients as they, as they grow. And then also from a standpoint in terms of soil, these, this organic material really feeds those microbes in the soil and they continue to grow and populate. And that's really where your soil health comes from. So those are two really unique aspects that conventional fertilizer just doesn't do. Well, that's really exciting. And, uh, my, you know, my next question is going to ask you about how this can help farmers. And you've already alluded to that a little bit. I have. So uh, I, I, always, I always break it down in really three yeah, ways. One, one, I already, one I already talked about, which is, to me is really performance. So because those nutrients are much more efficient, um, what you can actually get is with a similar nutrient as conventional nutrition, you'll actually get more yield. Or if a farmer wants to get similar yield, he can actually scale back on what he uses, utilizes for nutrition. And that's, that's important. The other thing for me exact, is soil health. And that and as a sixth generation, I mean, I know that farmers are taking care of that land for the generation after them and the generation after them. So to be able to put organic matter back into the soil in a way that really helps um, increase that soil microbe population, which really makes it better for overall soil health. That's really key. And then for me, the last thing is really sustainability. Um, you know, this is a way that broad scale agriculture can become more sustainable, um, reduce our reliance on conventional chemical fertilizers, and really be able to do something that uh, can inhibit greenhouse gases um, in terms of our product is more environmentally sound than some of the conventionals. We don't have near the volatility, so we reduce greenhouse gas. And we also reduce that leaching. And that keeps those nutrients where they belong with the plant rather than in our water system. Mm -hmm. Important conversations to have, especially in 2022. Uh, those topics are, are really top of mind for a lot of yeah, farmers. Exactly, for sure. exactly. So um, we did talk a little bit about Anuvia um, with my previous discussion with Hugh and, and some of the partnerships that Anuvia has going on and some exciting times happening with the company. So uh, perhaps you could share a little bit more of that, uh, that news with us. Uh, you know, there's been some interesting partnerships in the last couple of years with Mosaic and with Novozymes to name a few. Yeah. So no, we could share sure, I'll those. save Novozymes for last because to me, that's a game changer. Okay. Um, but with Mosaic, that's really been a real positive partnership. We really started it because when we were looking to expand and to scale up our production, Production from a really small developmental facility, we wanted to be able to uh, really be able to think about it from, I call it sustainability on even a broader scale, but could we reduce, could we reuse or, and, and um, really reuse? And so what we were able to do is we worked with Mosaic on a facility that they had used to manufacture um, phosphate products at one time, they had shut it down. And uh, we worked with them to be able to lease that facility and then we could bolt our technology onto that. Why is that important? So as I said before, we're all about reusing and repurposing. It allows us to repurpose an existing facility and be able to utilize our technology. One, we prove we can do that. So that in terms of growth, 
when we, as we're going forward. Um, ex current existing facilities, we can actually repurpose them to being able to utilize Anuvius technology. That's exciting. But for me, the second thing was it allowed us really to be able to utilize an asset that was just going to sit there by itself. It couldn't be used for anything else because it had only been a fertilizer plant. And we were able to use it um, and be able to get our scale up in a, roughly around a year when normally under normal circumstances, it would take two or three years and we'd have to use a brand new greenfield facility. So for us, it allowed us to scale up much quicker and I think it's better environmentally overall for everyone. Well, that's really exciting. The second piece of the mosaic piece is really from a marketing perspective. So they're marketing our Simtrex 10S product in the United States. And that's been really beneficial for us because um, they've been a great partner in uh, promoting the message of soil health and sustainability. That allows us to be able to focus our efforts on expanding internationally and then expanding in the United States with our 20S product or our nitrogen sulfur product. Awesome. And then for the last uh, partnership is Novazymes. And for me, this one is a huge game changer. So if you remember what we were talking about earlier, what we were really focused on is the uniqueness of the Anuvia technology being that bio-based. Mm -hmm. And what that bio-based actually provides us as well is really a platform or a vector for other biologicals. So those biologicals can come onto our granule. They like it there. Um, they, they actually exist quite well. And so what that allows us is we can take different biological solutions and we can put them on our granule and give farmers a variety of options. So that could be biologicals that could reduce the need for more chemical fertilizers. Um, it could be biopesticides that can reduce the needs for other chemical fertilizers. Um, and there may be a whole host of others. And we can do it in a way that makes it really easy for the farmer to use. He just spreads fertile granular fertilizer like they always have. Mm -hmm. And um, with that, it allows us to really take that next phase and that next step into uh, technology, technology development for agriculture. That's exciting. Thanks so much, Amy, for sharing all of this information. There's so many incredible things happening at Anuvia. Uh, where can our viewers go to learn more about what's going on with the company? Our website's always probably the best. Um, and that's an, uh, anuviaplantnutrients.com. And there are a variety of different areas there that will break, that go into our different offerings, our Simtrex 10S, our Simtrex 20S. And we have uh, uh, updates on how our manufacturing process works. Um, and every time we do something new, i.e. when we start to launch what we call our generation one or our biologicals, that'll be on the website as well. Wonderful. Thanks again, Amy, for joining us today from the field. Ah, thank you, Stephanie.